Thank you, Chairman. Um, it's vital that we do this and that we bring everybody together. Thank you, Senator, for being here as well. I, I think the Senator brought up a good point on the fact that as we get hit, whether it's a storm, whether it's wind, whether it's earthquake, we have to have something that we're able to turn on to keep the lights on, to keep things running, to keep emergency service trucks and repair trucks moving as well as we look at going to zero carbon on a lot of things in the future. I know a lot of us have bills and things like that. We need to make sure that we're still able to fuel these things and we're not worried about charging an emergency truck or, or a battery running low. We, we need to be able to go and move and operate. Um, maybe me being a military guy, I just see it that way. Um, but it's important we look at these things strategically. We look at all aspects, that we ensure that the tools we're giving our first responders, our National Guard service officers um, and soldiers that are on the ground that are leaving their families during the worst times possible to go out and protect ours, have the access to the right tools and the right equipment so they can respond and get us back on track and where we need to be. Um, I look forward to the panel and the discussion. I know a lot of us have teams that are watching and taking notes, but it's time that the fourth largest economy in the world actually starts acting like it and getting our infrastructure fixed uh, so we can be an example of what it ought to look like versus being the example of, of that we're setting. I, I think our vulnerability of looking like a third world country right now is, is there and we have the know-how, we have the technology. The question is, is will we have the ability as members of this legislature, both assembly and Senate, to take that step forward, to get beyond the talking points of zero carbon and other things that are out there and say, here's what actually works and here's how we're gonna take care of the people of California. So thank you all for being here. I look forward to it.